Hey guys, it's Ju Chantel and welcome back to my channel. And today I have a special guest. I have Judy. Hi. This is Judy and she's joining me today. We're having Chick-fil-A. And also I had some leftover beans. So I just made some um, bean tacos. I don't know if you can see it, the light. Okay, good enough. Okay, so we have two orders of french fries um, and I don't eat meat, so I got Judy a chicken sandwich. And then we have ketchup, barbecue sauce, mayo, mustard. I have a Dr. Pepper and she's gonna drink water because I'm being good. Kind of, because Chick-fil-A is that healthy. I know, I, I've never actually had the Chick-fil-A sandwich because I stopped eating meat by the time we got one here. So I've never it. tasted it. But I want to try the, the Popeyes. I know, I called today you guys to see if they had the um, chicken or the sandwich or Popeyes. He's like another, like at the end of the month. This has been going on for like Well, when I forever. started seeing the memes, I thought it was a joke. I was like, oh, they were just making fun of it because they brought out a chicken sandwich. Like uh -huh. I didn't think it was that good. And then I started, and it was like everybody was talking about it and how they were selling out. And then people start going into a frenzy. Yes, this is true. And then now I want to try it. I know, I want to try it, but team, you guys, I'm going to try it, but then I'm going to have to spit it out because I cannot like eat meat. But I want to try it because everyone's making such a big deal about it. If that doesn't make you sick, can I just grab, yeah. grab dig in? Um, don't mind our backdrop here. I had to have some glasses to set up the props of the food. It has to look pretty. I didn't know what you wanted on it, so I have mayo and mustard. I don't, you know, I don't really know what I put on it, to be honest. I'll, I'll have some mayo and mustard, though. Thank so you. Like, I'm not sure. Or I can do the... Um, what kind of sauce is this? Uh, barbecue. Oh, is this for your fries, huh? Oh, God, I have plenty, girl. Okay. And I got ketchup because for your fries, but I, I like do, barbecue. Maybe I'll do barbecue. I don't think I've ever had barbecue on my sandwich. Oh, I love, I put this on everything. Oh my gosh, like that commercial, that Red Hot commercial, have you? No. <laughs> is that hot sauce? <laughs> it's like, I put this and it has a bleep. Like, I put this on everything. I think it's Red Hot or something, but I put this on, what I do is, I, wherever I go, I bring my barbecue sauce and then I just use my own because I don't like everyone's barbecue sauce. So like I'll go uh, to even. I can see that's, that's true. Not everyone is creating yeah. equal. So you just want to make sure it tastes good. So I really don't have a topic today, you guys. We're just going to be like chit chatting. <sighs> I was supposed to get a topic, but um, I didn't have time. Or I was going to do, would you rather? Do you have any would you rather questions off the top of your head? Mm. It's good with barbecue sauce. <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. I hope I did not put too much um, salt in this. Okay. Okay, so I know you like ID Channel. Mm. Do you know that they have a new series and it's um, Khloe Kardashian is the, um, I believe that like the executive producer of it. Really? It's called Twisted Sisters. Hmm. It's all about, you know, sisters and shit that, oh, excuse me. I don't know if I can say bad words, I'm sorry, <laughs> so sorry, sorry. Now there is one that I've watched, I think it's called there's one I watch called Evil Twins and Something Sisters, but it might be different from Chloe's. Mm. I kind of like to watch those. Which ones? Either one of those. That's too close. Like, I mean, it's one thing when a stranger does something to someone, but... You don't want to see one of my sisters? When it's family? Mm-mm. Well... I thought I would share the information if you didn't know. Just in case. I'm trying to think if there's anything... I know, I'm just like, there's so many I can't keep track. Mm -hmm. There's a new one called American Monster, too. I'm just like behind. There's stuff that I recorded that I haven't even watched. Mm -hmm. But I think I mentioned my last video, one of my videos, one of the guys I liked, um, Homicide Hunter, he's going, he's mm -hmm. ending his season. It's so funny when I. We don't watch it as much, but we used to watch a lot of um, 
like ID channel marathons, like from morning to night. We'd be in this like depressed mood because it's like mothers killing daughters. It was everything, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, we tried watching uh, the one that you watch. What is it? What is it? Um, um, Homicide Hunter. Homicide Hunter. And we thought the guy was so boring that was discussing his cases. We never watched an entire episode. That's why I love him. He's just so dry. He's just like, yeah, he's dry the, he, and just like straight faced. Yes, he really is. I was just like, he was. I I think we barely gave it ten minutes, and then it was like, um, no. Why am I having issues opening this? Yeah, because he no. says like, when he goes like, I think he went to tell someone like, oh, um someone died or something he just goes up and says does he have asperger's or like does he have like know. some kind of social disorder or he's just like i just tell you this but so and so has died like no kind of comfort he's just straight shooter and i think that's why i like him he doesn't like beat around the bush and i don't know about that <laughs> but yeah he's very just and the fact that his wife is even on the show cracks me up Mhm. Mm because she expresses how much like when they flash back, she expressed how much she's not like him being in that line of work. Oh. And I'm like, okay, lady, but this is the line of work. He's been doing it for how long? And she would be like, you better come home tonight. Which I'm sure everyone, you know what I mean? Of course they want right. her she's, to be um, safe. Worried about him. She really was like not having it. My fries were cold. This one I don't like ordering. I don't know. You can always reheat them. I'm not sure. I just want to mix up and get Popeyes. <laughs> when you did your blend where you were eating Popeyes and you're like, I don't really eat chicken, but I'm gonna eat the skin. I was like, I like the skin too, but it cracked me up. I'm like, nah. You just need to get some chicken skins. Like maybe they sell them. They should I sell them. I wish just fried the skin of the chicken. Popeyes, KFC, please sell just the chicken skins. Please, thank you. Mm -hmm. That I would think, make life much easier for me. I don't have to peel it off. That would be really good. In fact, when we went to um, the OC Fairgrounds had like a, like a food night or something, mm -hmm. one of the stands sold chicken skins. But Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, it was just, and it was really good. And they had some kind of, I think you can pick a few sauces if you want. So, okay. And it was yeah. good. I need that. Yeah, I think you should write to them or something. Or people can write in and, and ask for them. Yes, please. But another YouTuber, I saw her doing the same thing. She only likes the chicken skin and then um, the corn dog. She just likes the bread. Mm. But, um, I mean, I guess you can just make that yourself at home, but I mean, I, it's just a waste. I'm not gonna go buy chicken to fry just the skin. <laughs> yeah. And that sounds so gross. I was gonna say, so do you like like, hot, like wiener snitchel then? Everything, anything that has french fries. You're gonna like. Right, so what I do is like, when I go there, I'll get french fries and I'll get like a hot hamburger bread bun. I just put the fries in there and then I put barbecue sauce. Chick-fil-A, I just make a sandwich. In and out, I just make a sandwich. And actually, I didn't know this, but I was reading that like, um, I guess if you're vegan, that's part of the, that's part of something. You put your french fries on your burger or your whatever you're eating. I've never heard that before. I'm like, I've always done that though. And not realize it was something people Yeah, like even when I ate meat, I, we always put our fries yeah, inside so the burger. Well, you eat chicken skin, so is that considered, you're not strictly vegan then, right? No, I'm like, I only eat like vegan ice cream, vegan, I just eat vegan butter. It's actually not bad. So did you start because, was the dairy bothering you? Mm -hmm. Like when it's mixed in, but like if it's straight up like the butter or like cream and that stuff I can't do, especially ice cream. So that's why I started making my own vegan ice cream and then I tried the vegan butter like a few weeks ago and I'm like in love with it because I thought it would be gross. Mm -hmm. But I was like, oh, okay. So now that I have that, I'm, I've been making like a lot of more, a lot more things with it, mm -hmm. like flavor and stuff. And then when a, someone at work just gave me, um, just told me about some vegan shakes, protein shakes. Oh, me too. Okay, well, speaking of. I'm a sweet tooth, sweet, 
Have you ever had their cookie? Mm -mm. I've never had their cookie. I've had McDonald's cookie. I hope this doesn't have nuts. I don't think it does. God, I have a it lot would, of issues. It would tell you if it had nuts, wouldn't it? I mean, if so many people... Oh my God, that smells good. Oh, it smells good. It like just it's said... Made one. Yeah, it just said um, oats and chocolate chips would have to buy nuts. Yeah, I oh think they would, I mean, they would have to tell you if there's yeah. nuts because... Yeah, uh, that would be a liability. Yeah, no one wants to okay. stick or dive. I'll take half. I'll take half. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of full, though. Okay, let's cheers to our cookie. Okay. first cookie. Cheers. It's thick, too. Like, it's a good... It's not a little flimsy. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, mm. really, That's good. Mm-hmm. This is like these cookies are way better than yeah. McDonald's ones. Oh yeah. This seems like it was just baked or something. Mm -hmm. I went to Panera last weekend and um, mm. they have fresh, baked, freshly baked cookies, but they have it on a hot sheet, so they're still warm when you get. They're mm. not cold, and I'm like, oh, that looks so good. Oh my gosh, their cookies are good too. I didn't get one, no, but it looked good. I would have got one. Especially, I'm like, can I get that one <laughs> on the sheet? Uh, I'm like, oh. trying to be good. Oh. oh, I shouldn't have got this cookie. Now I'm going to want these. You like them? They're oh, good. Oh, they're so good. Oh, my God. The tr it's a semi-sweet in there. See, this is why you don't try new stuff, because then addict it. Kind of going back to the ID channel. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen one on the Lobster Lobster Boy? Mm-hmm. Okay, so my co-worker today was talking about, I don't know, how the hell did it come up? I don't know how. She was talking about the circus and when her husband lived in, um, her parents, his parents live in Florida mm -hmm. and they lived by, um, I guess there's like a circus school, like a Ringling Brothers. Uh -huh. and she says you could see them. And, the trapeze is, you know, the artist. And that kind of led to that there's this community in Florida where it's all these retired circus people, people who worked in the circus, and mm -hmm. they all live in this community. Okay. And I'm not sure, I could be making this up, but. She's making it up. I could, I could totally be making it up. But, so I was telling her, oh, it's so funny. Uh, oh, so then my other coworker was like, oh, do you guys, did you guys ever hear about Lobster Boy? He was. Um, he had the clock, and like the, the hands and the feet, and he was really abusive. And I go, you know, that sounds familiar to me. Um, what happened to him? Well, he ended up, he was a drunk, whatever. He, was he married though with kids? Yes. That's the thing too? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, so here's, so he ended up killing his daughter's fiance the night before she got married, was going to get married. And he claimed in court that he couldn't, he completely confessed to the crime. He was not remorseful. And he said, um, he claimed that the, the prisons wouldn't be able to handle his disability. Gotcha. And okay. he got 15 years probation. That was it. How do you get 15 years probation? <laughs> Might as well get nothing. So he goes back to his wife and he thinks, well, I can get away with it. I killed someone. I can get away with it again. Beats her. Well, she ends up, she divorces him, remarries, uh, she, and then remarries him again. I don't know why she went back to him but that's a whole other issue. <laughs> but she ends up hiring um, someone to kill him. So, and, and oh, he, he got killed part. in 1993, 1992, something like that. So I, I'm pretty sure, and this is where I'm like, I could totally be wrong. Mm -hmm. I wanna say, I could be wrong. I wanna say that they were living in this community with all these, um, I mean, I, probably, you know, I think I, there, I think there was an, an episode 